Hillary Clinton said, I am the last thing standing before you and the apocalypse. I don't think there's been any other presidential candidate who has ever made such a, a prophetic slip, prophetic statement. I've never heard it. People have to look it up, fact check, but I've never heard it before. That's astounding. Now, she meant that she will protect you from Armageddon if you vote for her. But I think that it's a prophetic slip, and it means that she may be the last step to Armageddon. She said, I am the last thing. I'm the last thing that stands between you and Armageddon. That, what does that mean? The last step. The last step to Armageddon. She may be the woman, the whore that rides the beast in Revelation 17 to 18, and then Armageddon happens, and it's over very quickly in Revelation 19. She is a proposing to America that she's the one that can stop it. I dare say that's blasphemy. She's not going to stop it. She's not going to protect you from the Antichrist and Armageddon. In fact, the only person that could is Jesus Christ. So I urge you again as you're listening, as you're hearing the Word of God come to you, we're not trying to scare you. We're not trying to make you live in fear. You can live in faith that the Son of God is not afraid of this war. He will win this war. It's already predicted. And He will lead all who believe into safety and into 1,000 years of peace on earth. But you don't get to go in if you denied Him or rejected Him at the time that the offer was given. The offer of salvation is now. Whenever time you're listening to this message, the time is short. Please, accept Jesus Christ now. Repent of your sins. Say to God, honestly, I'm sorry for living a life that rejects you and breaks the commandments of God. Then pray this prayer with me. Out of your own lips, out of your own voice, tell God He's listening and He'll answer you right now. He will. Say, dear God, I repent of my sins. I ask you to forgive me for blaspheming you, for uh, living in sin. Today I put my trust in Jesus, the Son of God, the resurrected King. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. Thank you for paying the price of my sins. Thank you for defeating death and resurrecting from the dead. I trust in you. I open my heart to you. Come and fill me with the Holy Spirit. I believe I receive forgiveness, salvation, eternal life. My destiny is in your hand. I will not fear. I will not be afraid. Though they kill me, though they kill my body, my spirit will be alive. I will be with you forever. Thank you for saving me and accepting me. I pray to the Father in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen means that you receive, you believe that prayer, and God has heard that prayer. Congratulations. Whatever trouble you're facing, there's nothing too hard for God to fix. All right? Nothing too hard. And I pray that I'll meet you one day when Jesus Christ returns.